Greetings and welcome back to Project Zomboid Walking Dead, a custom sandbox with a modified hydrograph mod. Now, I recorded this episode with my microphone muted, so I'm adding the audio after the fact. And as you can see, I'm surrounded by uh, uh, refrigerators and coffee supplies because I raided the Starbucks next door. Well, Seahorse Coffee, but it's basically Starbucks. And what we're going to do is uh, investigate the different forms of coffee we can use uh, both with actually I don't need to grab one here I have full kettles under the sink in the utility room back here um, but uh, yeah we're going to investigate the different uh, recipes you can do with coffee to try and battle fatigue um, yeah there we go I got plenty of kettles of water back over here and I'm breaking my back but uh, Hopefully this won't take too long. I, I should have put up my laundry. As you see, I'm carrying a lot of wet clothes. But yeah, the first things we're going to make, we're going to need a mug. And we are going to try and make the uh, cuppas. And I'm not getting an option for it. Uh, not getting an option from that. I can, that's one of the Hydrocraft recipes, uh, preparing the black coffee kettle. Um, I can pour water into it. But yeah, I should be getting an option to make the cuppas from the cup. Hmm. Let's check the recipe. All right, cuppa is was kind of a um, Easter egg type recipe for the UK players. It was one of the first ones. Okay, I need sugar on me. One unit of sugar. Um, yeah, coffee. It's going to take an entire thing of coffee. That's the thing that's really annoying. Um, let's see, let's grab some sugar. And it's only going to use one unit of sugar, but some of the recipes use entire things of sugar. Uh, so yeah, let's just, um, yeah, there we go. Make cold cup. Uh, top one is tea. So that's the one we want. It's going to use an entire can of coffee, which is annoying. Um, yeah, the entire can's gone. Cold cuppa does no fatigue and actually creates unhappiness. Uh, let's go ahead and drink it just to get a little bit of the hunger and thirst so that I didn't completely waste the ingredients. Um, and then we, uh, we're actually going to need to heat the kettle up for the other one, but we're going to try one of the other things. Uh, let's see. Um, I fill up, I need to fill up the mug with water. So let's pour some into the empty mug. And this is the evolved recipe. You can create a beverage. Um, and I can add coffee, tea, sugar, milk. Let's use the large cans. It's only going to use five units from it. <clears throat> and it does three fatigue. And I could add more coffee. That would probably boost it. Uh, the sugar is doing nothing. What about the milk? Okay, the milk does a little bit of hunger. And I just got a, an error message. Yeah, I'm getting it when I add the sugar. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, Hydrocraft switched uh, the sugar back to a drainable, and drainables don't work right in uh, um, evolved recipes. So that's what the problem is. Now, I could heat this up, but that will not affect the uh, um, fatigue level of it, just like the hunger and the unhappiness and stress and stuff like that. So that's only going to do three fatigue with one thing of coffee in it. Uh, let's see. All right, now for the kettle of water, I could... Pr let's pour some more into the mug. And check out the Hydrocraft black coffee. It uses six units of coffee. Let's put up the coffee cans. All right, and uncooked... It does 15 fatigue. 
Now cooking it is just going to boost the hunger and the stress and the unhappiness. Uh, but yeah, that right there is more effective than the uh, default recipe. Maybe a little too powerful, but... Uh, let's see how long it takes to cook. It's currently 8 o'clock. Probably shouldn't take more than 10 minutes, if that long. Well, uh, did about a quarter in a, in a handful of seconds. So maybe about 20 or 30 seconds. Yeah, it's, it's already halfway cooked. And yeah, it looks like it's doing a full quarter every tick. So it's about to be done. Yeah, three more hunger, three more stress reduction. That's what cooking it does. And of course the microwave shuts off automatically when you pull stuff out of it because you had to open the door. All right, let's go ahead and drink this. Oh, wait. Yeah, we can add sugar to it. That boosts fatigue as well. And add milk. And that also boosts fatigue. Now, I disagree with that. Lactose, especially when it's warm, tends to make you sleepy. So that should have uh, reduced the fatigue bonus, but boosted stress and unhappiness for adding milk to the coffee. But yeah, it looks like, um, let's see, let's go ahead and heat up the coffee and try the hot cuppa. Or heat up the water. Now, I don't need to, this ain't going to have a cooking bar or anything. I just need to get it red enough to uh, give me the drop-down menu. Let's see. There it is. Make hot cuppa. That's the tea one. All right. And it's going to use another whole can of coffee. Go ahead and turn that off. And it does five fatigue with a whole can of coffee. Ugh. So yeah, the cuppas are kind of obsolete recipes. They're not ones you want to mess with anymore. Um, the evolved recipe isn't too bad for the default. Uh, I think the Hydrocraft recipes are a little stronger than they probably should be. All right, I finally emptied out a pack of sugar. Yeah, I'm not getting the filters back, so the filters are being consumed. Yeah, let's go ahead and cook the coffee. Cook the coffee. And let's clear out some of our inventory while we're doing this, because we don't need any more coffee right now, so we're not going to need the, the milk and stuff. Is that the right fridge? Yeah. Uh, I'm put the sugar up. So let's put up the full one first. Uh, put the empty sugar pack in our wagon. Put the vitamins up because we don't need them right now. Uh, okay, I guess I put the vitamins up later. Uh, I'll put the coffee up. All right, so it currently is doing like 60... Uh, 60, 20, 200, 10, 10. And it's about halfway cooked. It takes a little bit longer to do the pots. Um, yeah, the, see, they made the sugar a drainable, and that breaks the uh, evolved recipes, because evolved recipes didn't work right with drainables. That's the reason they switched the sugar to a food item. But I think it's still possible with a food item take a port just a portion of it in a recipe I don't know I'll have to double check that and did, did they make the coffee drainable too I'm gonna have to check that all right so we're just gonna put that in the fridge it boosted the hunger and the stress we can, we can just pour it into a mug we can't add sugar to the pot directly so we've got to pour it into a mug and then sweeten the mug so I don't need the sugar on me anymore. And uh, so yeah, now I have coffee as a 
way to uh, keep my fatigue in check while I am here in the base and just use the vitamins while I am out wandering around. So I'm going to do my exercise routine, but actually I'm going to put my clothes up first. I'm going to do my exercise routine and then I'm going to get dressed and take some garbage bags up uh, to the toward the laundromat and get some corpses taken care of. Um, and then the make my way to the mechanic shop because I had I realized I have not uh, checked out the mechanic shop and I still need concrete powder but we'll I'll see y'all in a little bit alrighty so I'm dropping the last few duffels and garbage back here and there is a zombie right over there um, that we need to deal with and I am going to use my crafted spear uh, so I can get a little bit of spear practice in. This won't have a lot of durability and won't last too long. I let him get too close and back up a little bit. Alright, so that one took three hits. Let's check the immediate vicinity. I'm not seeing any movement. Let's check this alleyway. Okay. Looks like we're safe for now, so I'm going to be uh, stuffing these corpses in these garbage bags. Um, and this is not my main inventory. Yeah, just stuffing them in the garbage bags. And uh, cleaning up this place a little bit. And I'll resume recording when I'm ready to head to the um, mechanic shop. Alright, so I'm just now stuffing the last corpse I had garbage bags for up. And as you can see, I cleaned out all the loose corpses here in the uh, pharma hug. And the ones clustered around the street there. I didn't have enough for this cluster over here, but we're going to check and see if the lobby's cleared out. I'm pretty sure that group to my right is the entirety of everything that was in here. Yeah, I don't get a really good view from there. But we're going to check um, around here. And I don't see any in the immediate vicinity. I can't get the cutaway for the drake down there. And there's none around the corner. And yep, the lobby's clear and the door's locked. So let's check this other door before we start clearing glass. Because there might still be some in here. Nah, it looks clear. And yeah, that one's locked too. So we're going to have to remove the glass. I don't have my crowbar. There we go. All right. And see if we can't find some concrete powder. Or anything else interesting in here. Let's go ahead and take some vitamins. All right, advanced mechanics. Uh, got some nails. Plenty of nails, actually. Yeah, there's more boxes and nails. Sheets. Um, Metalwork Monthly. I uh, don't know if I have that one. But right now, I am mainly interested in looking for the concrete powder. I'm seeing plenty of gas. A couple of sheets. Weapons, electronics to dismantle, and plenty of car parts. Um, there's not one in this corner. Yeah, there's one last one over here. And this would be the last one that could have concrete powder, I believe. Nope. But I can definitely come back here uh, and loot this place for other materials. And I believe Hydrocraft added in where I could break down car parts into other resources. Let's check this counter. And it is not even a container. So we've got two vending machines. So yeah, this place was a bit of a bust. Cigarettes. Alright, let's uh, check these garbage bags. Okay, we got two more garbage bags to put corpses in. And more cigarettes to pack up. Now I could grab a handful of stuff out of here. Let's get this light on. 
Uh, let's see... Actually, because I've got the garbage bags and the spear, I want to keep my right hand free for now, because I'm going to be either picking up corpses or using the spear and other two-handers. I'll wait until I find something worth getting out that. So let's drop these garbage bags, pack these two into them. This is not my main inventory. And you see, I've got a quarter staff with barbed wire as well. That is a really good crowd weapon because of the reach of it more than anything else. Um, I'm able to keep swinging at them without letting others get too close and basically play keep away and, and keep them at a better distance. But yeah, I want to use up this spear and uh, stick with two-handers as long as I can. We can check some of these houses, possibly. Let's go ahead and get the spear out. Yeah, there's one. Uh, there's a few over there. Oh, that is a lot more than a few. Yeah, that, that road is pretty thick. I let her get too close again. Back up. And there goes the spear. Okay, crowbar time. Alright, have a broken spear. That's not my main inventory. Alright, so I got a little bit of spear practice. Not much. Um, we need to head up. I don't think I can get to any of their... They don't even look like they have garages. But I don't think I can get to any of those... Uh, let's head down this way. Oh, there's one. Um, let me check the map real quick. Alright, we are right along this road. That is the gas station. That is a, a hardware store. This is. I want to clear out toward the gas station. Now, while the building south of it is actually listed as a hardware store, I consider it more of a grocery or general store because it has more food than anything else honestly uh, but yeah we'll clear out down that way and see because uh, uh, the general store might have some concrete powder and the uh, we actually do want to have it cleared kind of to the gas station this is the um, dentist office down there there's a couple of tailor shops, and of course the bookstore is next door to it. Hmm. I don't have the tailoring books yet, I don't think. So we might make a stop at the uh, uh, tailor shops and Enigma books to see if we can find... Um, the tailoring books and at least get started on tailoring. We're also going to need a needle. Alright, take some more vitamins. Yep, there's some over here. And I got some cars. I don't know if I've checked these. I don't think I have. Yep, more vitamins. And let's just go ahead and use up this bottle. There we go. Yeah, that's that's a tailor shop. There's no back door into it, so we got to go around the front. Plenty of broken windows if we have to go in that way. But there's probably still quite a crowd around here. I'm seeing a little bit of panic when I first see them, but it fades pretty quickly. It's not until I run into large clusters of them I'll be having a problem. Like, if I tried to tackle that group, I'm getting a little bit of panic because i got so many close to me right now. And I need a cigarette. Let's, let's back up and have a smoke. And I'll probably take some more vitamins because I'm probably getting close to the threshold. And beta blockers wouldn't hurt either. I guess I'm holding off on the beta blockers. 
Yeah, a little bit of panic. Fades pretty quick. I mean, I've only got two visible right now. Don't let him get too close. All right. Take care of this one, and we're slowly thinning out the road toward Main Street and the gas station. Still quite a few around there. Come on, come on. Take care of you way over here, so I don't have to worry about panic so much. Come on. Over here. Alright, that guy's staying put. So let's just clear out these over here. Yeah, quite a few at the gas station still. Oh, got the attention of the guy at the door. Not swinging at the down guy. Right, hit this guy and get him down. Oh, and then of course that down guy gets up. Great. Die. You too. Alright, it'll take her a while to get the door. Let's deal with the ones that just came out the window over here. Oh, missed. Yeah, see this bit I'm having to do where I'm having to push one and smack the other? I wouldn't need to do that if I was using the quarter staff at max range. I could smack them both. Alright, let's get... Oh, that door's locked. Now, I hate this part, because that door is going to block target and put me at risk. See, I see. I can't hit her. Uh, let's deal with this other guy. Yeah, she went back to the door, at least. Alright, I can't get to his head without getting her attacking me. Yeah, see, I lose targeting right there. Ah, crap, door just broke. Kill her. All right, wasn't that one? Oh, we got a crowd. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to need beta blockers for this. And this is a good time to use the quarter staff. Put that in both hands. Oh, and I'm getting exerted crap. All right, let's uh, let's take some beta blockers and more vitamins. Well, we got them thinned out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, I can keep them farther back a little better with the quarter staff, even though it's mainly because I'm exerted, but it's not doing much more than the uh, crowbar. Did. And I think that's mainly the exertion doing that. Another great thing is I can hit down people from farther away so that I'm not in so much of a risk of getting bit doing it. So that helps me thin the numbers on crowds a little bit better. And I really need to pay attention to my flank here because there was a whole bunch at that intersection to my right. Alright, still good. And now I need to get into a building to rest, because I am exerted. Since a cluster just came out that door, I think it might be fairly safe to go in, um, like in the tailor shop here. Yeah, there's a few in the office next to it. Oh, we still got a few here. Hit him. Crap. One of them just left the tailor shop. I don't see... I see one guy coming this way. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put the quarter staff up. We've got it thinned out enough. I can go back to crowbar. Those two are pretty close, but I think I can still do it. Come on, lunge at me. Lunge at me. I 
guy's about dead. Oh, and of course I shove him down. Yep, now he's a crawler. Alright, two taken care of. Back down to one. One of them just came out a window down there. Alright, so we got a couple... Ooh, whoa, I didn't even notice him. That could have been disastrous. Alright, none sneaking up on me. I'm starting to get fly noises. Having some garbage bags stuff these guys in would, would cut down on the risk of disease. So I'm probably going to need to clean out um, the garbage bags I've already got filled up and move those bodies to the pile next time I go back home. Oh, that one noticed me. Crap. Alright, let me go ahead and deal with this one. Don't want him beating on the door while I'm in the tailor shop. Uh, we got two more coming. I need to get inside and rest. Alright, that guy's going to take a while. I can actually... Hop in here and just open the door. Let me do a quick check. Now, there's some chairs I could rest at. I'm hearing zombies. I don't know if they're in these nearby rooms or upstairs. Yep, there he is at the door. At least he's not beating on the same door the other one was. He's got the light on. Deal with you real quick. Oh, you got a friend. Stay down. So let's stay down. All right. Let's get this door shut again. Just so if anything comes in, I will hear it on glass. Now these racks, yeah, they have a chance to break. I need the single racks to bring back for my clothes. Um, let's check this hallway out real quick. One at that door. Uh, oh, there's a crowd down there. I just saw. Let me see if I can knife this one. Yeah. yeah, there's there's quite a crowd down that way. I'm not going down that way uh, until I can rest. I need to be unexerted to handle a crowd like that. There's a few in this office. Let's deal with this woman. Let's see if we can't get in the uh, barber shop, hair salon, whatever it is. All right, got one headed this way, and of course it's locked. All right, I think I got time to clear the broken glass before she gets here. That way I at least have a place to run if a whole bunch come pouring out of a nearby window. Or from around the corner. Alright, yeah, they're beating on that door. Let's get inside. Let's see if there's any in here. Oh, there's two. Oh, let's try this. Let's see if I can't get them both. Risky. Very risky. Oh crap, I lost my knife. Alright. I'll just take you out the old fashioned way. Alright, let's uh... None coming in behind me. Let's check some of these. Uh, let's rest right here. There we go. And I can just keep Paying attention for glass. Alright, I heard glass. 
they must be at that window at the office building. I think right here I've got a good view. Oh crap, now I'm sleepy. Yeah, they're not coming in here yet. Once I get rested, I'm going to need vitamins. Oh! There are a couple of racks here. Clay. Let's take one more. Got some weapons. Yeah, let's grab the clay. And the nail gun. Don't know if I have one of them. Just a bathroom. Alright, that hand axe. Alright, these are probably just going to be, yeah, your regular hair salon stuff. Scissors. Alright, that crowbar is good condition. That axe is almost broken. Let's get the light on. No, no, wait. I forgot, I almost forgot. I was about to leave and I almost forgot my knife. There it is. Let's grab that stake too. Steak isn't a very good weapon, it breaks. Uh, yeah, my knife, my knife. Oh, something on glass. Uh, right behind me. Okay. Deal with this idiot. And let's actually, uh... Yeah, let's head down this way. See how this street's doing. Saw a couple. Yeah, there we go. Stay down. Right, any in... Okay, there's a few in those buildings. One or two back there. That door was unlocked. Good. About the dentist office. There's some in the dentist office. Now let's get in here and deal with this guy. Alright, now, I want to make sure these doors are shut back here. There may be some in these rooms. I don't need them sneaking up on me. I really want to check this closet right here, but before I do, yeah, that door is open. I've got to have that door shut, because there was a crowd right outside of it. Oh, somebody's walking on glass. All right, um, got a cardboard box. That'll be useful later. Yeah. Still no concrete powder. Let's grab those nails. Alright, I heard somebody. There you are. Wonder if I can ninja you. Oh, nope, nope. Screwed that up. Get to the crowbar. Alright, uh, well, since we're right near the bookstore, let's go ahead and check it. See if we can get the tailoring stuff. Oh, yeah, let's walk through a tree. That's great. Alright, that's unlocked. And we've got a small crowd inside there. Oh, they're coming out. I might be able to catch them. Alright, that's two down. Got a couple more coming in. I might be able to hit them. If they stop at the door, I can get them through the window, I think. Yeah, I can get him. And he looks like a dentist. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and open the door. I can't get her. Stay down. Close that door. 
Got one more. Alright. Oh crap, where'd you come from? Ah! Okay. I'm not bleeding. Knock my helmet off. Alright, let's check our clothes, see if he ripped any of it. No. I got extremely lucky there. Um, I did not even see that guy. He was behind the bookcase or something. Alright, quick scan through here. I'll come back for a lot of these books later. I'm just here for tailoring. Oh, wait. I didn't even see you over there. Tailoring for intermediates. I need beginners first. Alright, I think you've seen me. Trapping. Let's deal with you real quick. Check these shelves. Tailoring textbook. Nope. I've already checked this one. That's the one I hadn't checked. Nope. 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 Tailoring for beginners. All right. And what's in this one? Nothing. All right. Let's go ahead and grab that intermediate tailoring. So I pretty much got everything except for tailoring, I think. Now let's go check this clothing store right here, see if we can't get a needle. Oh, we got a small crowd here. Uh, I think they're staggered enough I can stick with the crowbar. Especially if I do that. That's one down right there. That other girl was far enough away I could do I could risk that downward swing. Plus I'm not exerted right now, so I'm not swinging slower. Alright, that one's about to come out the window. Gotcha. Let's get this guy. Oh no, door's locked. Alright, there on the other side of a rack. Yeah, so I should be able to clear this out and get through it before they can get around to me. Looks like I only got one's attention. Nope, two are coming around. But that guy's still oblivious. I think I can stab him. Let's try this. Oh, wait, can you get to me? No. Okay. Ah, he got my knife. Alright, deal with these two. And then get the guy at the door. Oh, a house key. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's grab a smoke. And get that house key. That gives us a key to this entire structure. Um, that includes like the doctor's office next door, all of the other buildings, so don't have to worry about locked doors anymore. There's my knife. Alright, let's deal with this guy at the door. I hear somebody on glass. Must be in the building next door. I'm getting pretty good at that. Alright, what we got? We got a book. Expert tailoring. And a needle. Great. So I got my needle. Let's go ahead and get expert tailoring. Tailoring for beginners was over here. 
Master Tailoring. So now all I'm missing, I think, is Advanced Tailoring. And there are plenty of books I can go through to try and find it between here and Enigma books. It'll be a while before I need it anyway. Now, it sounds like there might be a few in here. Oh, yeah, there's a few in there. Um, alrighty. Uh, yeah. Okay, get some distance, get some distance. We need to switch to... the quarterstaff. And we're gonna need beta blockers, because we are panicked right now. Get rid of this one so I can take some beta blockers. Main inventory. Yeah, let's just grab one out of there. Alright. Now, I should be able to deal with these two. Especially if I knock them down and shove. Stay down. Now, there's still more in there. Take some vitamins. Let's take some more vitamins. Yeah, here comes another one. Any more still in here? No. Okay, so we got some crates to search back here. Let's put the quarterstaff up. Uh, yeah, these are more of those two uh, shelf ones. There was another needle back here. Wooden crates. Those are something I will need later as well. Another crowbar. Let's get those crates. Now, I don't have to worry about... Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that and the metal detector. And that is not your backpack, dummy. Alright. I don't have to worry about opening the back door just to have it unlocked, since I have a key now. I'm pretty sure there's some out back, so I wouldn't want to do that anyway. Alright, have some cigarette butts, and let's get out of here, and keep making our way up toward that so-called hardware store. A few more back on the street. I heard somebody on glass. I don't see him. There you are. Alright, let's get this one. Can I sneak up on her? Oh, nah, I spent too much time trying to see if anybody was sneaking up on me that she turned around and noticed me. He's gonna try and ninja kill her. Fall down. There we go. I right, got a couple more. We got a screwdriver or something in you. Maybe a knife. Screwdriver. Alright, I should be able to ninja this one. Alright, there's a uh, utility closet I can check in the doctor's office here. Let's get these doors shut. I think this is all going to be medical supplies. Yeah, pretty much. Let's check this room real quick. There's... 
Okay, that's medical, that's medical. I think the... Let's close this door. I think the cardboard box is... is yeah. Another welder's mask. Alright, not what I'm looking for. Let's put this stuff in the freezer section. And it sounds like there are multiples in the utility closet. So, uh... Make sure the corner's clear. Yeah. We're gonna open this door and move away. I know there's some in there. Yeah, there comes a nurse. Or doctor. It's hard to tell. Let's take some pills because I know there's more in there. And we're going to be close to getting drowsy. That guy's getting shoved out, so there's another on the way. Another doctor, a nurse, a park ranger. Okay, now we're getting three. Oh, yeah. Get back. I want to stand on this guy. That works. Damn it. No. Die. And still more filtering out of there. And I'm exerted again. Alright, room's clear. Close door. Alright, weapons, rope. Yeah, unlike in my other game, I'm not that worried about the rope. Uh, I can make it when I need to. More clay. Got a welding hose and hand scythe. All right. I don't think there's going to be anything of value in the next uh, building over. I think that is a abandoned office going to have mainly like moving materials in it. That is the building I'm going for. It's listed as a hardware store, but I, like I said, it's going to be more of a grocery. I didn't get the cutaway, so I don't know if there are any sitting in the front. Well, there we go. There's one coming this way from there. All right, they're not moving. I know there's one coming around the corner. There he is. Hit him. Starting to get exerted. I need to get inside. All right. There's one of the little racks that I want. It's a little heavy for me to carry right now. But yeah, I want those for my... Uh, my to put my laundry on when it's clean. Alright, got a couple coming this way. Well, at least one. Let's see if we can't make it upstairs. Now, this is really dangerous, because there could be some right up here. Oh, I got lucky. Sounds like there's some in there, though. Alright, uh, quick scan through here. I'm going to go ahead and get my quarter staff out, just in case they break down a door and come piling at me. Oh, uh, let's see. Nope, nope, nope. More clay. Let's just get here and check them all. Make sure we're looking that way. Yeah. Climbing pack. That's less than my hiking bag. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Because uh, I'm not staying focused enough on the loot to pay attention to what I'm looking at. <laughs> because of the, I'm worried about a zombie coming up on me. Um... The other alternative is to clear out the zombies in the area before you start doing what I'm doing, but we'll meet him animal cage.
And it's got a couple rabbits in it. I'm surprised they're not dead by now. Um, they're probably hungry. All right, got some clay and other things here. Oh, they just broke a door. Not that one. All right, let me go ahead and open this door. Yeah, I figured there'd be a couple coming out. They keep away with the quarter staff. Fall down. Gotta get closer. All right, we are going to make a couple of sheet ropes real quick. Uh, your pants. That way we can do an emergency escape out a window if we have to. Yeah, there's some filtering from downstairs. So I figured out my idea of why there's so many clustered in like the utility closets in the bathrooms. And that was a good quality um, denim shirt, so I grabbed it. Is uh, that when the thing happened, there were people at work. That's another candy pack, just like mine, I think. Yeah, same. Uh, people at work, when the outbreak happened, so they holed up in a secure room, figuring they could hide until help came or something like that. And uh, ended up one of them turning, and then they all did. Uh, but yeah, they had hold themselves up. Ooh, boy. Alright, maybe I can ninja them. They're all turning the other way. Let's see if I can ninja this one. Oh, she got my knife! Oh, crap. That guy just turned around. Get your knife and get out. Don't have time to equip the, uh, yeah, I guess I do have time to equip the, um, quarterstaff back. I need to get this room cleaned out so I can rest. Yeah, exertion is really taking a toll on my, uh, combat capabilities. Wonder if I'll be able to ninja any more of them. Nope, that one turned around. And this is going to bring them all, probably. Don't want my back to the stairs. Don't want my back to the stairs. There's one more coming out that door. There. Oh, I missed. She ceased to be a target just as I was swinging. Alright, stairs, dangerous. Let's get in and close the door. Let's see if this guy's alone. Alright, let's uh, ninja him. Her. That well, could be a him. You never know. Right. Turn off this TV. Check the bedroom. And we can finally rest, I think. So yeah, let's rest up. And they broke a door. And I'm sleepy. Damn it. Alright, they broke a door. Um, I can get out that window if I have to with the sheet rope. Oh shit, they broke that door. Oh, got that guy's attention. Can't ninja him. Oh, there's another one out in here. All right, got a bit of a blow. Oh, here comes another one. Damn it. I need to take some vitamins or something. All right. 
And here comes another one. That was the last of that bottle. Alright, so this expedition has taken a little bit of a turn. Um, let's see, I got my sheet ropes. Uh, just in case I really need them. Let's get out more vitamins. Take some beta blockers. So we're going to have to do some cleaning out. Let's grab a smoke. And uh, actually, I don't know how long this episode's been running. Let's take care of this guy. So we'll probably end up calling it an episode pretty soon before I push on further. I want my smoke. There we go. Now we're getting nice and calmed down again. But yeah, I think we're going to call this an episode. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.